everyone. Miguel Hito of your Cranial Emission Show here. Getting dialed into the show on the interweb and social media, it's a piece of cake. Here's a few ways you can do it. First and foremost, our home base is Spreaker.com. Search the Cranial Emission Show. And on iPhone and Android markets, download the Spreaker app and listen to live or to archive shows right on your phone or tablet. Next, visit our Facebook page under the Cranial Emissions Network. And Twitter, at Cranial E. YouTube, the Cranial Emissions Show, underscore official. And you can even email us with your questions and comments at thecranialemissionsshow at gmail.com. If you want to be part of the show, you can call in on Friday nights between 7 and 9 Eastern Standard Time at 813-438-6068. Thanks for listening and being part of the growing revolution that is the Cranial Emission Show. Hello, this is Sancho from the Cranial Emission Show. Our celebrity voices are... are... Impersonate Bang? What's the word? Impersonated. Oh, Im are impersonated unless otherwise stated by Ben, Caleb, or Miggy. Broadcasting from within the Ebor Muta Triangle, live from the Lion's Den at 1704 and a half. Yes, a half. East 7th Avenue, Ebor City, Florida, it's the Cranial Emission Show. Charles, Caleb Crispy, and Miguel Hito. Love that intro. Uh, welcome once again, folks, to the Cranial Mission Show, live mm. from the Lion's Den here in Ybor City Ooh. on the bi-weekly rotation. Back at it here in the Ybor Muta Triangle, as the announcer says. I just got back from the B Bermuda Triangle, actually. That's right, yeah. yeah. Caleb Crispy back on the from the a uh, little vacation, the celebrity cruise excursion. Yeah, yeah, how nice. was that? It was nice. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the weather was a little crappy on the way back, so the boat was rocking. But uh, got to uh, did somebody actually somebody come and knock him. Yeah, <laughs> actually got to uh, snorkel over some shipwrecks. So that was kind of cool. There's a ton of them over there. So Three of them. Two. Uh, there were two been shipwreck, shipwreck, shipwreck. We could have oh. hollered at Brad McLean out of Australia. Brad no, but it was only shipwreck, <laughs> shipwreck. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty cool though. The water is, uh, you know, it, it's a really neat place, but it's a, I. I, I We've cruised out of New Jersey, so all yeah. the Jersey New Yorkers were, they crowded to the pool all the time. It's like, man, whatever, it's a pool. We got pools. And they want to go to the beach. I'm like, ah, whatever, it's What a about beach. the gym? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did they do lots of laundry no, the, on the, the boat? Hot, the, hot tub was, <laughs> the, the hot tub was orange, though, because oh. of the spray tanner. No, I, I don't know. I never actually saw it. But, uh, yeah, they want to go to the beach, and the beach was, you know, again, coming from Florida, eh, whatever. It's always annoying to me when you're on the cruise, and... Let's face it. There's really three things to do when you're on the boat. It's drink. Yep, did it. Drink alcohol, eat, yep. or yeah, gamble, did that. Or gamble, right? A little of that. Uh, it always annoys me when you see the guys at the gym on the cruise ship. Yeah. You know, like what are Why? you doing, dude? Like you're on vacation. <laughs> well, you know what it is. They're trying to get their pump on before they go out to the pool <laughs> to pick up so they can. <laughs> hey, over there. Hey, hey, hey! Look at them girls over there. I gotta go to the gym right quick, man. Get my pump on. Oh my <laughs> no, god. My, oh my god. sister-in-law actually did want to go to the gym a couple times. She tried to get my brother-in-law to go, and he looked at her and he's like. I haven't been healthy on this entire trip, and I'm not going to ruin that now. <laughs> the cruise is the single most unhealthy cruise or er, vacation I think there is. Oh yeah, the cruise ship, absolutely. Yeah. well, you, you sit down to dinner. I remember one night we sat down, and uh, you know, you, you get off like a four course meal, and the, the service was a little slow. It was like a two hour uh, ordeal to eat dinner every night. But uh, every time they had something good, there were two different nights. They had a beef carpaccio for uh, an appetizer. It was really good, so we ordered it for an appetizer, and then my brother-in-law and I both ordered two orders of it for dessert, and we did the same on the next day with a smoked uh, tomato basil soup. We had it for our appetizer, and then Ooh. dessert came around. We said, no, nah, we don't want dessert. Just bring us a couple bowls of the <laughs> We had four bowls lined up of the Damn, tomato basil son, soup. son, that's, that's the way to do it. And then, of course, two hours later, we were up at the uh, buffet trying to find pizza in the oh pasta yeah. bar, so it was good. That's all you do. So it's all you do is eat on the cruise ship. But well, that's all there is to do, especially this one was... Uh, it was three days or two and a half days there and a day and a half back. So we had five days at sea with nothing to do but eat and drink. 
That's what the worst thing. Which about, I did. That's the worst thing about cruises is you got too much time on the water sometimes. Oh yeah, it was. It was it was a, a, a good day too long on the water. I, I could use the day less. But you missed uh, you missed out last week, Kayla, because while you were gone, Miggy was a busy little bee. I cracked yeah. a secret plan. I heard. I Him heard. and uh, Sancho worked on this where they put together a little surprise. I was telling you about it off the air, but we had the reunion where we had two of the founding members of the show, uh, Jesus Julio and the Reverend Joey T, join us. Uh, live in studio at ESB, and it was a lot of fun. It was a packed house there. They yeah. had a insane oh, pack. It was, a it was great like crowd. seventy people there. Wow. They yeah. had uh, this barbecue guy that was there. They had Revolution ice cream was there. Oh, yeah. They brought their dessert truck. Oh, cool. Bob's uh, Grandmaster Brewer Bob's band was playing. So it was a good time. We had Eric Erlinson from the Tampa Tribune, the oh nice sports hockey writer extraordinaire, and a great interview. So Craniacs, uh, if you're listening now and you haven't heard last week's show, be, be sure to go back and listen to it. Almost a three hour show. Wow. If you're just tuning in now, it is Ben Charles, Miguel Hito, and Caleb Crispy. The the squad is reunited after the vacation. And Feels so good. And by the way, I did get the Skype uh, password reset. If you want to log in, so we can have the phone, uh, the call-in number. What's the password, Ben? It's <laughs> it's Caleb's <laughs> wife's name, seventy nine. Uh, the uh, whole the whole name. Her name, yeah. But that that doesn't help. We have talked about that. Yeah, but they have to go back and listen to the archives. Oh, there we go. Out. If yeah. you would like to hack, hack our Skype, please go back and listen <laughs> to all of our shows. <laughs> hey, write it down for me just so I don't F up her name because I know I'll probably f*** it up. It's, it's the you see how I blanked that out a little bit? Hey, we need to give a shout-out to uh, it's uh, The Needs Movies. The Needs, N-E-E-D-S, Movies. It just it figure, figure, figure the f*** it out. Uh, so The Needs Movies on Twitter. Check those guys out, at TN underscore movies. These guys gave us some love, and they shared our page. So hopefully, what? You know what? I'm, I'm air-writing. You air can air-write your mouth. Right with you need something to write on. Just right on there. Right on the edge of this little thing you turned. Uh, so we want to thank those guys for, uh, for, for for sharing our stuff. So we're gonna Hold on. Don't uh, I apologize. Yeah. Hold your horses. Anyways. <laughs> uh, frenetic start to the show, as usual. We're going we're gonna <laughs> to get Skype up. So if you want to call into the show, you will, will be able to do so by dialing 813-438-6068. I just got a uh, text message from my um, amazingly lovely, beautiful wife, whose name shall be revealed only by going back and listening to Hermione. Her Her <laughs> Hermione. <laughs> she says, I'm a password. <laughs> <laughs> so she's listening to the show. <laughs> she is. Oh, she good is. for her. Oh, great for me. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so watch what you say today, Caleb. Anyway, so uh, yeah, a lot, a lot going on for the show tonight. A lot to get into. I mentioned we're here at the Lion's Den, and... We're going to get into some alcohol topics for this segment. We've got a shocking. few to, to get into. I know that's a, a shocking thing. But uh, before we do that, we're going to start the show the way we do every single week. Oh, shit. And that is with the beer call. Really? That's from Shaun of the Dead. That's not one of those zombie songs. <laughs> that was so obscure. <laughs> no, it was not. Come on. Oh. It, it's okay. What are we drinking? Shoot, I don't even have any beer. I'm, I'm drinking a, a very, very refreshing Yingling lager. I'm drinking mm. a beer in my mind. We actually just released a new beer called uh, 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 Blackberries in the Sky with Diamonds. It is a, one of our traveling wheat series. It is a blackberry beer, and uh, I will issue the fact. <laughs> oh, you guys know what that means. That means <laughs> super strength. Chris <laughs> Nelly is in the house, man. Is he going to sit down? What's going on? Is sit he down, gonna, homie. Is he going to get headphones in a bag? I do. He <laughs> well, he brought <laughs> headphones, and I've even wow. got an extra microphone hooked up. Oh, okay, I just want to nuzzle you. There Look you at go. You. I just want to grab your face and smooch. Pull up a chair, huh? Grab a beer, too. Uh, grab me one while you're at it. The esteemed Chris Nelson in the house. What was, the, what was the, the suffix of the password? 79. We can say that part. It here. might be loud. We'll reset it another time. After was there this. a dirty involved in that name? No. Just her name and then... Just her name okay. and 79. I just want to keep um, it simple. Look at that. Did you shut the codec? I am doing that right now. <laughs> Anyway, let's get back on here. Yes, so beer call. So anyway. I'm going with the uh, Bell's Two Hearted very right now. Very good choice. The old very standby. Considered one of America's favorite craft beers. It's a fantastic beer. And, you know, while we're talking about favorite beers, <laughs> interestingly enough, there was a, a survey conducted, guys, and uh, they, a number of people were, were polled to find out <laughs> what the most popular alcohol was in each state, whether, you know, for the beer and for liquor. And the answer is... May or may not surprise you. Now, if you had to choose 
What was the most popular beer to be uh, for people to drink here in Florida? What would you pick? Bud Light. Yeah, I'd probably go with Budweiser or Bud Light. The answer is going to surprise you on this one, guys. The most popular beer to drink in Florida is PBR. Really? Well, we are full of hipsters. There's hipsters this everywhere. Is true. This is true. And I can cheap. smell them. I can smell See, them. See, uh, I had the uh, the great Cinelli just brought me a fantastic highlight, so I've set my game up. It is in a can, but he brought it to me. He just popped it open with his they finger. They only come in cans. He just popped it open with his finger. I'm a little disappointed that he did not shake it up and, and crack it over his head first. Oh, uh, dude. Chris Nelson's so strong that he can just stare at a beer and it opens. Great. Now I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took it back, dude. I took that back. <laughs> 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 but this uh, this poll was conducted through Bartender. It's a drinking social app. They've got about 700,000 users. And, yeah, PBR was considered the top beer to drink in Florida. What do you think was the top liquor that Floridians like to drink? Fireball. Fireball. You know, it's surprising that you said uh, – uh, it's not surprising that you said it, but it's actually Jack Daniels. But nationwide, if you look at if – you, if you called all the states together – the uh, Budweiser actually averaged out as the beer of choice s- across the 50 states. And then Jack, Jack Daniels and Fireball were tied for number one as the liquor of choice. I'm not surprised at all. But I have a question about this poll. You said it was an app that, that did a poll. So this isn't God, by... you love polls in your yeah, mouth. They're like yeah, coming out yeah, of your yeah, mouth, yeah, in yeah, your yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> um, it's not, it's not a based on sales. It's based on people going on this app and, and voting or, or... Right. So, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but it just goes to show you that as, as much traction as a craft beer movement has made, that there's still the old standbys. The American society is still uh, still climatized, if you will, to the standard go-to beers. And then, of course, again, with PBR, when you look at this and it's like that, I, th- I think a lot of it's economical as well. Well, th- people are in still enamored by the Buds and Bud Lights because, they're A, they're friggin' cheap. You know, they're cheap as hell to make. They use corn and they use, like... Uh, they use hop extract. They don't even use real stuff most of the time, you know. So, so it's like it's it's cheap to make. You can drink it cold. It sucks to drink hot, and it's everywhere. It's in your face all the time. So you know, no wonder people are drinking it uh, like crazy. Now, if you had to go with with your state where you hail from, Miggy, Vermont, what would you what, what would you think is the top beer for them to drink? <sighs> it's between Magic Hat and Long Trail. No, it's actually. Uh, once again, it's Bud Light, number one, and then Jack Daniels as the liquor Damn. of choice. Is there number twos in there? No, I just number ones. I knew you'd be disappointed. Oh, I'm ashamed. Gay marriage, and they still drink Bud Light there. <laughs> wow. And they got weed legal there. I'm going to go v- move to Vermont and get some weed. Yes, but is there Bud Light? Is, is it most popular served out of an aluminum bottle can? Whoa, yeah. <laughs> only if you have nine kids. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, that and <laughs> <laughs> it's especially Was important. Was that specific? It's Sorry. especially important <laughs> that you get it when you're at a six, uh, at a wedding on a 63 acre setting. Yeah, in the it's middle of nowhere. Well, it's important that you leave the wedding. Well, because they don't have it in an aluminum can. I am like whatever. Because you know all they had was a keg of Wells Bombardier. Yeah, and so was that what that was? So you don't want that. You want to leave. Sip of that. You didn't have any Wells Bombardier. I didn't. Lord Cheese will be very disappointed. I don't in give you. a sh. <laughs> he won't even try the beer that I make with my own hands, so he can suck it. Oh suck it, wow. cheese. It's because you haven't made a uh, cucumber snow pea saison yet. Yes, I have actually. But thank you very much, <laughs> Stacy Cheese, and I do appreciate the support he gives uh, me and and my 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 place that I uh, am at employ. Uh, that I work very hard at, but it, whatever. You sound a little butt hurt. I am butt hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I love Mr. Cheese uh, immensely, but his support uh, is like a broken training bra. Now, <laughs> when you think of the Bud Lights of the world <laughs> and the PBRs and all this kind of stuff, it brings to mind games like like beer pong, right? G- because that's all it's good for. Well, if you're going to play beer pong, you're going to go with cheap beer. If you're going to play flip cup, you're going to go with cheap beer. Yeah. Right. Have you heard of the guy? This is a beer pong story. Have you heard of the guy that's made? He's got l- half solo cups, and you put them in the solo cup so you can play beer pong without that's the so stupid. dirt. No, it's not. No, it's not. You don't have to have a dirty ass shirt rubbed on the floor. God knows what's on there in your beer before that's why you, you drink have it. A rinse cup. Yeah, the dirty piss rinse cup where people are dipping their hands in there. God knows where the hands have been. Go to the bathroom. You know they're not washing their hands. Y- y- it, it's Bud Light. It doesn't Does matter. It, it it's does, still, it, I don't yeah. want to lick piss you off know. my fingers. Maybe somebody wiped and used bad <laughs> toilet paper and broke through and dug deep. Maybe you're from, Ver- <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're from Vermont, right? Yeah. That was one of the first states that legalized gay marriage. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you can suck it. Suck it, suck it, Cause, Charles. Because you sound kind of gay right now, seriously. <laughs> just, yeah, beer pong is for men. 
You just you just deal with the dirt. It builds your